Good morning. So this week you are going to be using one point perspective to draw a room. It doesn't matter if it's a bedroom, a living room, a kitchen, whatever kind of room you want to draw. Um, but you're going to be using one point perspective to do that. So you need to make sure that you are doing all of the practice sheets before you just start going into it and just drawing a room. The practice sheets will help you figure out how to draw in one point perspective and they have a video to go along with them to show you what you're supposed to do. So one point perspective is just like a method of drawing three dimensional objects. It once you get it, it kind of like clicks and it goes really easily. It may take you a little bit to get it. So stick with it. Don't give up. Um, and if you have any questions, send me an email. But I do want to show you a couple of examples. So here's one. This was done by an eighth grader last year. So you can see like the bed actually looks three dimensional. You can see the side of the bed, the foot of the bed and the top of the bed. And it actually looks like a three dimensional object. This one is a kitchen. So again, it looks three dimensional. It looks like this side of the counter is closer to you and this side is farther away. You can tell that the sink is closer to you than the window is. Here's another kitchen. Again, you can see the three dimensions, especially over here because they've actually cut out an opening and made it go into another room, which is really cool. So you could do something like that if you wanted to. And then here is another bedroom. These will need to be colored before you turn them in. So you're gonna do a little bit of practicing starting tomorrow. You're gonna to do some practice sheets and then you're gonna watch some videos of me showing you how to do it. And then you're gonna start drawing your own room. So you're gonna spend um, a day or two kind of like putting all of the objects in your room, getting everything planned out the way you want it to be. And then you're gonna color it before you turn it in. And then you'll take a picture, attach it to the assignment in Google Classroom and turn it in. If you have any questions, let me know.